Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, yarn is such a great crafting material. I mean, of course you can make things like hats and scarves and sweaters, socks, you name it. But you can also make fun little toys like this yarn monster. Isn't he the cutest? I'm gonna teach you how to make him right now. For this project, we're gonna be needing some yarn. I'm actually gonna be using two colors of yarn just so that you can see how um, the differentiation of that when I tie it off. So you don't have to use two colors, but I'm gonna be using two colors. So you've got your yarn. You're gonna want a piece of board or foam core, cardboard, doesn't matter, but you want it to be about four by six inches. So four inches by six inches. I'm gonna be using some googly eyes. I'm going to be using some tape. I'm going to definitely need a pair of scissors. And I'm also going to be using a glue gun. You can use any kind of glue that you like, but I like to use a glue gun because it's nice and fast. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of 4 by 6 here and I'm going to take a little piece of this lighter colored yarn. This is going to be the yarn that I'm going to tie off my little fuzzy guy with. So this is not going to be the body of my fuzzy guy. This is going to be the, the string that I tie it off with. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this tape here. It doesn't matter what kind of tape you use, but the blue tape is nice because it releases. So right down the center here, I'm going to put a piece of tape on one side and a piece of tape on the other side. I'm just going to pull this taut. And this string here is about 18 inches long when I cut it. Again, I'm not going to use this anymore, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And there we have it. Now, I'm going to be using my color, my body color. And what I'm going to do is take this piece of string, hold it right at the edge of my cardboard here, and I'm going to start wrapping. I'm going to wrap this around and around and around and around, and I want to wrap it around a hundred times. This is great for counting, so I'm up to five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As you can see, I'm holding on to this just to make sure it doesn't come undone. But once I get enough 12, 13, 14 wrapped around, it's going to stay and then I can let it go. Now I'm going to jump ahead here to where I have it wrapped 100 times around. And on the back side, I just ended it right about here on the back. Now, what I'm going to do is release my tape on the front here that's holding my tie in place. Now remember, I ended on the back, and now what I'm going to do is take my tie, and I'm going to pull it up, and what I want to try to do here is tie this as tight as possible. Now, you might want a second pair of hands here to help you. But pull, pull, pull. And see how that pulls in nice and tight? Now, if you've got a second pair of hands, they can help hold this in place so that it doesn't come undone while you tie your knot. And you just want to tie a knot. One more time, I'll do that knot for you. You tie it around once and pull it down. Tie it around twice. Pull it down. So it gets it nice and tight like that. Now, don't do anything yet. Just flip it over. Find the middle. And... Take your scissors and very carefully slide your scissors underneath so that they're halfway in the middle of that cardboard and then just cut. There you go. And then just pull apart like that. And here is your monster starting to form. Now, you can tie this part off to be your little bouncer so that he can go up and down. You can dangle him from anywhere you would like. I'll just trim that little excess. And now just start bouncing him around a little bit so he gets spread out and nice and fluffy like that. And now you're just going to add the eyes. Now if you are going to use hot glue, just be very careful when you use the hot glue on the back of your eyes. You just want to add a little dot and add your eye and another little dot and add your eye 
You can use big eyes, little eyes, you could use buttons, you could use puff balls, you can really use whatever you want. But there he is. Our little monster. And there you have it. Your very own little yarn monster. You can make a whole family if you want to. For more fun ideas that won't leave you tied up in knots, come and check us out at Sophie Dash World. Nom, 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 nom,